<laughs> we just dropped some new merch for the summer. We got two tie-dye t-shirts with embroidered art, as well as a sticker of both designs. You can get them right now on pleasestopshopping.com for $25. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pondering Spooky Tapes. In the deepest and darkest of woods, where not even the light of the moon can penetrate, two vile creatures indulge in dark delights and have conquered their comrades into capitulation. Now they wander these lands watching scary cinema. There's a good chance you're next. Mandalore and Billy invite you to ponder some spooky tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Bren Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And also Cameron's Whoa. here. Welcome Whoa. to the Pondering Spooky Bren? Tape. Yeah, the Bren did Adventures. You say the... Oh, that's so <laughs> that's good. Actually, really actually if, if Ed was here, I was going to say the Bren Adventures. <laughs> oh. Billy and Mandy. It only works for Cameron, four of the hosts. Away. I'm so sorry. Hold you up. I can leave. leave. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> the Bryn Cam Ventures. Oh, boy. Wow, that just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, the, great thing, the great thing about having camera, Cameron here on Pondering, though, is saying did, when you see the movie, you can look at a camera and say, yo, is that camera on? And then point at Cameron and be like, yo. You mad. I'm, you mad. I'm in every movie. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> what a fucking movie. 1987's Uninvited. Is that recent? It's a killer mutant cat creature feature directed by Graydon Clark, who has a cameo at the beginning, and uh, I don't know what else he's done. I was looking at his IMDb's, but he's made some interesting other films. Yeah, I, I know that there's one called like Dark Future that has like the least amount of stars I've ever seen on IMDb in my life. Yeah, all of his movies <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen haven't got good ratings, but he's got a f like one black exploitation film, which is interesting for what? him to direct, called Black Shampoo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Out of black Wait, stylist. director? Like yes, director. He directed it. <laughs> Maybe there's a mistake. Maybe there's another great in Clark. I don't. I don't Could think there? so. Because he he also is in this one. What? <laughs> Apparently, is like a cameo. Sorry to like trail off. Oh my! But it, God, I was just looking dude. into it like while we had a break. And did he write it? Wait, did he write it? Please, I need mm, to know. Oh, he co-wrote it. Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, dude. You would love to see it. He also wrote this movie, Uninvited, of course. Cameron, you also don't have to worry because the more the podcast is on track, the the the, the worse, worst it the is. worst. Okay, it okay. Is, so. Let's be real. <laughs> I just like getting the spiel out of the way. Let's talk about the stars. We got Oscar winner George Kennedy in this movie. As he rich was, man, yeah, as rich white man. That's pretty much everybody, like most of these people's characters, to be fair. But he was a, an Oscar winner for his supporting role in Cool Hand Luke. And he's also, it's like Ed, Ed Hacken, Ed Hacken in The Naked Gun. He, he, he was Brick Bazooka's voice in Small Soldiers. Let's get to the really important I thing. I still can't believe he's a toy and not like a company guy in Small Soldiers. <laughs> he's in Duckman. Let's be real here. Let's talk about the real Is he in Duckman? He's in Duckman as a small <laughs> No <fan>. fucking <laughs> way. No fucking way. I love Duckman. He, we also have Alex Korg playing the most overacted character I've ever seen. Fucking the dude with the little mustache on. Holy fuck. Then we got Clue Gulliger, who is Albert, the drunk guy who drives the ship around. He was in Return of the Living Dead and Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Freddy's uh, Gay Revenge or whatever. I don't remember. That movie's gay as hell. Starring Tony Hudson, who did nothing except like produce her own dog stuff. That's the that's Rachel. And then Claire Carey, who plays Bobby, who was in Waxwork, which is a really, really good. I, I really like it. It's a really good little horror movie from the 80s. And starring two cats. <laughs> two cats. Unnamed. Two cats. Unnamed cats. Two cats up to up to 30 cats. We're not we're not doing two cat. Last time I talked about two cat. cat, I got burgered. Yeah, you got burgered. <laughs> this time I didn't lie though. This was actually uninvited. We actually watched it. I would not lie twice. And they went through at least 30 cats because the director kept saying keep, keep the, the cat, cat alive yeah, no, on the set. commentary. The commentary track was uh, an interesting bit of going into the mind of somebody who was just uh 
I don't want to be mean, but man, the things he would say were sometimes just completely fucking insane. Like uh, how the movie had like allegories to AIDS. Because the cat infects their blood yeah. with a scratch. How he specifically said it was that it was an allegory for AIDS. Because in the 80s, people thought that AIDS was transmitted through like contact, like skin contact. Right. That's why Captain Planet had to tell people about it. Yeah. And because of that, when he wrote the movie, he wanted to make sure that the humans touching other humans would not give contact. And in the commentary track, he said that he had hoped that that part of the movie would help gay people with AIDS. Wait, so he he was doing it as like a PSA? He thought like, he could help people? He was gonna ha- like, they were going to watch Uninvited, see a cat bite a dude, and be like, wait, I, <laughs> I can have- touch gay people? It's fine? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. That's what he said in the commentary track. I was just like listening to the commentary track without watching the movie because I didn't want to spoil the movie what? for myself. That's- and then he would talk about insane things sometimes, and I would stop what I'm doing, li- like rewind and be like did he just say that right it was insane also he kept every time there was a cat on this in like a scene of just the cat walking around the ship he would just go like keep the cat alive always gotta keep the cat alive keep the cat alive and i was like <laughs> i don't know why he's saying that he just kept going keep the cat alive because, because they, turned they through cats. kept losing cats they kept losing what cats. he said is that they only had two cats on set he's no, lying he might mean yeah, at a time, on at a time somewhere they had one one main cat and one backup cat for when the cat died two cats survived <laughs> on set how he said it. Two cats lived. <laughs> it was a fucking battle royale on Maybe that that's yacht. why that girl just died when she fell in the water, because of how many cats they lost that way. They're like, oh, it makes sense. Like, th- th- that's People so just rude. die when they fall in the water. You saw that drunk captain spit wine in that cat's face. That wasn't like <laughs> yeah. a cut where they used water. He just did that on set. Everyone was drunk. Ah, ah, ah. The director said that nobody drinks on set, only off the set. <laughs> If they're in another room drinking, they're not drinking on the set. We just supplied them with the alcohol, Dude. gave them time to drink it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because they they they're method. They play method drunk acting. I definitely take the ud out. Take the ud out. Leave the meth. Let, let's let's start with how what you guys uh, felt when watching this movie. This was my first time watching it completely. Like. Not out of context, because all I've seen were clips of the cat opening its mouth. With the other cat coming out. I'm just saying, like, I thought I was ready. I was not ready for this movie. I Everything I thought I knew was completely wrong. They spend, like, it's called a creature feature, but I'm going to be honest. That fucking cat shows up, like, very rarely. But they got to keep him alive. Every time it shows up, it's a new cat. <laughs> Anytime the cat's on screen, I'm pogging. Anytime the cat's not on screen, I'm bored. They spend so much time, like, talking about the scientific blood disease that the cat has. I just thought the cat and was, also like... also just, like, business. Like, uh, business, 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 so business, 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 business. They're coming off to me. <laughs> business, business. The SEC. Business. I gotta, yeah, that's business. why you Where gotta is he going again? I already forgot. It was, uh... The, the K-9. K-9. <laughs> That's if you I, if you take the Y out and put a T in there, though, it becomes the Catman Island. Oh my uh, God! Wait, can you even go to the Cayman Islands from Florida? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that too far? You go I don't everywhere. Think so no, it, it's just like Cuba used to be America's uh, like vacation spot before the embargo. It's like mm-hmm. seventy yeah, miles off, that. and Caymans is right past it. I remember that. And then when they reopened it, a, a bunch of people got really mad. That's right. Hmm. Is that where the cat? Is that where the cat ended up at the end? Oh my the god! Cat, maybe <laughs> the, cat, Cuba, the, yeah. the cat on the luggage. One of the best shots I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> I could not stop thinking about. I, it's on screen right now. If you're watching the video version, look at this fucking thing just staring dead eyed. This fucking disgusting, <laughs> matted rug on the water on the surface of a fucking metal box, just staring dead eyed at you. It floats away into the abyss. Just floating away. Oh, is that why there's a black cat at the end? Because the the cat inside the cat leaves its mortal shell behind on the boat while it's... Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Maybe, yeah. I, thought, I thought it took over a new cat. I just cat. realized. I thought, that's what I was this thinking. This movie is he has, smart. He had, a new hand touches the yeah, beak yeah, and a new yeah. host He crawls inside sound. a new, new little cat to take, take control. So it, it would have to be a new cat because the in, the inside cat is like a weird, gross bat-looking thing. Mm, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, a, like, it's a like a bat cave. It's like a raw chicken. 
It's like the it, bat cave. Looks so weird. Weird. It looks like man bat. Like yeah, it is like man bat. <laughs> no, I was talking about the outside cat. The outside cat's like a weird cave. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's weird, like a weird hermit cat. cave. It's so disgusting. Yeah, the but we- the outside cat seems like aware of it too, because sometimes outside cat turns into a lion thing. Yeah, it's yeah. It's sometimes got mini it'll get forms. mad. It's. It's very strange. It's like thing. Like every time it attacks, it's like slightly different. It'll get upset. It's just like Nimona on Netflix. Is that where it's like a shark girl or something? It's just a shapeshifter. Okay. Every time it sees something that upsets the cat, like the ra- the, the, the the almost rape scene, the cat's like, hey, you stop that. And then he saves the day. Yeah, wait. Yeah, at fr- I was really rooting, he, I was really rooting for the cat the for a while until the cat yeah. poisons the food the, the supply cat, and ruins their the crops. The cat was like on, on side. And then like halfway through the movie, they got rid of like all of the evil characters. They're like, ah, oh, shit. Now I got to kill the good ones. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, well, I ran out of bed. I mean, oh, the cat about. even fucking, the I don't cat know about even good like, ones. they're kind yeah. of fucking stupid. To get the cat to the boat at the beginning of the movie, like, the, the movie, like, tricks you into thinking that the cat is going to be a, a defensive, usually. Yeah. It, it saves that mechanic guy after it escaped. Yeah. It, like, doesn't really save him, but it, like, attacks these two hillbillies in a truck that's not a truck, that's not the same truck. Yeah. It only attacks uh, when provoked for quite a while. Yeah. And then it poisons well, their food. Does it though? Because at the beginning of the movie, it kind of just. Well, no. At, at the start of the movie, it's well, no. It's oh, I guess it's defending itself, it's defending against, defending, against the yeah. guy. They're yeah. trying to shoot it. Oh, they no. They were yeah. With they were trying to shoot it with the little thing. Well, no. And they, then they a were real gun. Syringe it. And then a real gun. Oh. They were, oh, they, that's right. Remember they the gave, lab guy? They gave him the fucking <laughs> revolver. He was like, "Hey, security guard, you don't know how to use this shit. Take yeah. put it in my real yeah, gun. Give me the gun. <laughs> can I like? Can I like cinema sins ding real quick and yes. just say them not having an animal control of like the wire on a stick? A like wire? at the beginning, oh, just like having a, a gun, just oh, having yeah, a yeah, yeah. gun without hey, the wire on they, a stick. They, 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 did they didn't have they didn't have the same <laughs> reforms that we do now. <laughs> no, they didn't have the technology. <laughs> Wire on stick is unknown to them. Hey, Dude, they don't shoot the cat with the crank gun. Don't they use like big? Uh, uh, you've seen those videos of those like big like they they like clasp things, but they're like nets, and then you just net a cat. Like you net net a cat. <laughs> I don't know, no, you know, like I'm talking about like it's just a. It's just a wire on a stick that's like no, a no, common no, no, animal no, no, control no, no, no. hook. There, it, it's different for cats because they're so small. It's like an animal capture, like net clasp thing. So it's like a butterfly Bailey. net, but like cat catches. Wait, a cat? I, I found it's Bailey, a cat You're catcher. talking about the contraption. No, 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 <laughs> no. A cat capture. It's literally called an easy nabber. Oh, and it's you're a talking cat about ca- the box thing. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, it's like wait. Oops, I, I see transformers. Yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. I accidentally pasted transformers. Oh, this. this yeah, it's yeah. like a class thing, and then it closes on the cat, and then the cat's just kind of there, <laughs> kind of stuck there. Yeah, that's what they use now. They use that okay. like an easy nabber. I mean, to be called. fair, the cat was shown to like be able to chew through fucking steel. Steel. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I, yeah. So the gun. I mean, he could have chewed through the gun. The scientists knew that, and they said we can only train him. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! What the fuck, man? This movie's crazy. It's cr- it's wild because it's so boring, and then it becomes then so crazy. It's it's almost got the perfect ratio. It, it's of so boring close. to crazy. It's almost. So it's close. so close. I needed a bit more cat. A little more cat, and it would have been perfect. N- but the thing, the crazy part is that he keeps saying keep the cat alive by showing shots of the cat like going around, but nothing happens. <laughs> it's just PTSD. It's not doing like cats stunts. He lost. <laughs> Just walking. Keep the cat alive. Keep the cat alive. Keep the cat alive. You don't that say that unless you lost at thing. least a cat. <laughs> you, it, you, if you're yeah. chanting it, I, like the thing is, I few. don't. I I feel like what he meant by it when is like, oh, when the cat is on screen, that means the cat is still in the movie. He might have meant that, but I think he killed cats. No, I think it was an object permanence <laughs> thing. Like, oh, you see that cat? He's not. <laughs> He's not out of sight, out of mind. Keep him in your thoughts. Well, Show uninvited to your three-month-old now. Well, like there was that one you shot where the, the cat. It just had the cat jumping, and it played like the PlayStation Two going through a portal. Oh sound. my god! Yeah, yeah. Right. Like it mentioned. Yeah, and Brent's like, oh yeah, it's PS Two. It just it just that's cuts right. to a cat jumping, uh, and it plays, and that's it. Like there he is. Yeah. Like yeah, he was booting fucking. Grash. Bring up Ghost Hunter. Ghost Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucked up movie. One of the things that I, I saw pretty much everywhere, like, and by everywhere, I mean the one special feature and commentary track. There's not a lot about this movie. This movie is kind of like not much going on. It was actually not supposed to be a cat at first. At first, it was supposed to be a rat, but 
he oh, it was man. a plague ridden yeah. rat. While he was writing the movie, he thought that a rat wasn't sci-fi enough. A rat would make way more sense for everything, yeah. except for the girl taking a board. It, it could just get a board. Yeah. It needed to be a sci-fi because this how he said it was he wanted to make sci-fi horror. So the <laughs> cat's so more sci-fi. What he thought was a cat inside of a cat is more sci-fi. But it's like even going for like his his insane fucking disease allegory. Rats kind of evoke that more than a fucking cat. I know. That's why I'm thinking like, what the hell was he thinking? Because in my head, when we watched that movie, like when we talked about watching this movie, my head, I was like, okay, this is going to be a movie about like a killer cat. Like the cat will kill people, but it ends up, the cat doesn't really kill that much, that many people. It's the virus that That the the cat cat has. has that kills people, which is so much weirder. It does like bite some fingers off and you know rip yeah, their faces, yeah, little, and, and then it has little sausage, like little cocktail sausages next to the actor to be like, "Oh, that's his fingers." Well, because we sat there talking about like toxoplasmosis and shit, trying to be like, "Why is <laughs> why, why is this what happening? An insane, what an like, insane why why movie. is the cat so yeah <laughs> have poison blood? It's extremely convoluted." The entire like setup for this movie is insane. It should be so simple. Like and it's so insane. Like <laughs> how the cat even gets there, I don't understand. Because it the last we we see it like, crash oh, cute. They bring it aboard. And then like they find it in the little box by the pier. And like wha- wha- <laughs> I don't know how he got in the box. And who brings a cat on a <laughs> boat? They're good luck, Brendan. They're, they're good, good luck. luck. They're no, good th- luck. I think it, okay. I, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like the it's a good luck to have a cat on a ship is a real thing because I feel like I heard that, but it was like in relation to like pirates because well, yeah, the, the they would eat the yeah. they would eat the rats and like ver- varmint. Oh, navies would make little like cat passports for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not something too crazy. Like it, it has it it has a semblance of truth. One thing though, you you remember the like at the beginning, cat escapes the science lab, goes to a fucking truck stop or whatever, and he's getting fed by some random dude that dies from being punched in the face once, and w- then the cat gets angry, and then he's like, "Hey, that was, I, he was giving me milk," so he jumps on the dude's truck who randomly mugged the other dude. And when they cut from the shots of the truck outside to the shots inside, I'm so happy to say we have a spooky situation. Wait, do we? It's not the same movie. What what do you mean? The scenes of the red truck, like from afar when the truck explodes and shit. They're really fucked up, like destroyed. That is... That is not from this movie. They did not film this for this movie. Oh they God. took it. They took the car chase scene from another movie called High Riders by the same director, Graydon Clark. Oh, okay. that's that's why every time they want to show the actors in the car, they zoom in really, really close into the windshield so you can't tell it's not the same car. Except it's very obviously not the same car because it has completely fucking different paint jobs and also it's not the same truck to begin with so yeah, yeah. Oh, man another it's they got their mileage on that destroyed truck with no engine in it they did i mean to be fair that was a spectacular fucking crash it just sucks that when it <laughs> when the fucking hood opens up you can clearly see nothing in there i'm surprised they couldn't find like an engine for cheap you know i do you reckon it might be a safety thing or something? I don't it know. It was the 80s. There was no safety. They uh, just true. did shit. <laughs> they would just do things, dude. <laughs> we also remember the fucking murder at the start of this film where, where like, they establish the gangsters like a bad dude and he just gets the guy to drown him in his fucking hot tub. <laughs> it's just yeah. like the most... And then it's like weird because the guy's like sore about it, but it's never brought up again. He's like, ah, man, my yeah. arm. <laughs> he starts wiggling also. He's, he just kind of starts wiggling in place and they're like, oh my God, he's wiggling in place. <laughs> it was just so... That's it. He like shows him the $3 million <laughs> and he's like, yeah, hey, look at this $3 million. 
now I've got to kill you. It's like, <laughs> he, he does do that too, eh? He's just like, I have a secret and if I show you, I'm going to have to kill you. And then he's like, don't show me. And then he's like, look at this million dollars. And then he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> then he kills him. Well, so every character is just like the most, most default caricature that is like from a horror movie. And like the the like you know like the uh, you know the racy like college students who are like whatever the <laughs> so yeah with a giant fucking vacation hickey. and vacation yeah the giant hickey oh what yeah. is wild to me is that they said that they filmed this in two weeks that dude had that hickey on for the entire movie okay if it's so, he committed he is uh what what was his life like <laughs> <laughs> there is a cat and a cat. The cat inside the cat attacks the rich? How many cat forms were there? There was like, there was cat with little hands that came out. There was yeah. lion form. Lion. There were three yeah. puppets, I think. There was there really was big puppet. entirely out of the cat cat. There was the casual cat. cat That's husk. the one who's like hanging out. Meow, oh yeah, meow. the cat husk. I feel, I feel like oh my you take God. this conversation and you're just talking about my favorite cat gotcha game. There's cat, 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 and cat, 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 open husk, cat, cat, business cat, casual cat. <laughs> they're all fucking business five casual stars. Cat, they're all rare, five stars. I think, I think there were at least <laughs> of the of the monster cat. I think there were at least three puppets, and then one puppet of the um actual cat that was the husk. Um, the husk cat was so. the scariest cat. That, that was oh, the yeah. scariest. It was like really, really fucking creepy. creepy. Like it, like when it just opens up and you see it, see a little bit come out of its mouth. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like its I face is too it wide was... and it's weird. It had yeah. vintage fursuit vibes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, weird. I know what you mean. Yeah, I knew you knew. I knew you would know that. I know what fuck you knew. You, man. Yeah, get owned. Screw you. I know hyper specific yeah, information you. just to mess with you, Billy. No, you fucking yes, don't. I do, Billy. Try, try me right now. <laughs> Glomping. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, how awful. How awful was the fucking 2000s internet? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to move on from this conversation now. I love, Vile. love, 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 love that the cat poisons the food. Can I just say it's so random that it's the it may, dumbest I'm, thing in the world and yeah. it's so amazing. <laughs> the cat poisons all of their food. This guy, every bit of food, every scrap of food. The cat how does he poisons do it? the food. The director saying it's like a fucking PSA for AIDS and he's not wanting to like, you know, m you know, get rid of the misconstrictions about about AIDS and then it's like but also you can't eat things that people with AIDS have eaten. Like <laughs> yeah, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, this, that's because I'm starting the cat to think this allegory doesn't work well. <laughs> How does it poison the food? Does it just eat the food and then it gets poisoned? And listen, oh, yeah. Billy, the cat poisons the food. Also, what was it? That, it that was, was the character Suzanne, right? She just goes yeah. insane yeah. towards the end. Yeah, she has sea madness. She, yeah, gets, she, she gets after like a day. She gets sea cookie. She's she like, I'm starving. I'm gonna starve to death. And oh, then she starts, a good she kid, starts right? like, yeah, she starts painting her nails and singing songs. The She's food's so not nuts. poisoned. You just want to hoard it. And then she eats one it. tiny scrap of bread and her throat I knew explodes! It. Oh, it does! It's so fucking rad. Dude, honestly, the fucking gore is not bad. Yeah. It's pretty good in this movie, yeah. surprisingly. The, the first boat cat kill where the guy's face gets all bulbous, I was just like, what? They had oh, like dude, it's disgusting. They hadn't really established that with the other cat kills. Like they just like the no. cat just yeah, killed the man because you obviously think the cat might be in him or something because like his neck is pulsing and stuff. Yeah, I thought the cat like, had always oh, like, the cat burrowed in into him and was going yeah. to explode Jeff yeah. Burster style out of him or like just pumping his meat into body like a yeah, little cat yeah. Gundam. <laughs> also, like when uh, <laughs> when, when, when old man Rich dies, he has like oh. the thing coming out, like starting to come through his skin. It's like oh, is a cat about to come out of him? Should he get in the cat meat suit? Wait, I, yeah, I was about to say, does, is this cat a Gundam? This is this is. Like, I guess he kind of is. I mean, Gundam's too good. What's the worst mecha Meow. anime? What the fuck? Is that a Meow flesh mecha? Oh no, we're not talking about Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, oh, I guess. Final season, part three, part two, chapter five. Yeah, sure. Gurren Logan. No, I've heard good things. Gurren Logan's very excellent. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, there, there you go. Gurren Logan would not have a cat inside of a cat. More like Purin Logan. <laughs> All right, dude. Just who the hell do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cat inside of a cat. <laughs> to be fair, Gurren Logan does have mechs inside of. Fuck it, it sure, <laughs> sure. Uninvited <laughs> Gurren Logan. Because there's so many mechs inside of a mech inside of a mech. I wonder how many cats down that thing could go. I legitimately think that this movie, if it had a supernatural twist to the cat in some degree, shape, or form, it would be propelled to the top of cinema. It just needed a little more cat. It just needed a little more cat and a witch. We should have the bad thing inside of a evil creature inside of a normal creature cinematic universe with fucking Gabriel. Bird inside of a bird. Man inside <laughs> of a man. I know real versus the uninvited. I know. I keep going back to malignant, but goddamn. Well, you could show that the like hospital verse. on the cliff and then like the, the briefcase <gasps> washes up on shore. <laughs> it's oh. like all old. <laughs> it births a litter of them. Oh my god, and now they have a bunch of little, and now it's little just uninvited Gabriel boys. versus critters. No, because they would be friends. And at the very end, it's like AVP, and you see the cat coming of Gabriel, and, and you hear Gabriel laugh. You know what? I think this movie definitely could have benefited from a, you know how they made like, um, I mean, you know, you, you'd make like for a schlocky horror movie, you'd make like a sequel. I think if this movie had gotten a sequel in the 90s, uh, if you had turned the cat to be uh, like a computer virus somehow. I think that would be very funny. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. Like, uh, I, and I thought you were going to have a dog instead of a dog. Nah, you have the cat inside of a cat, but the cat is a caterpillar. It's a forklift. The cat is now forklift certified. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, to I be fair, if the uninvited cat was driving a forklift, you'd have a cat inside of a cat inside of a cat. Oh, I get it. But you would call it cat cubed instead of uninvited. You calling about, you talking about a fucking evil cat entity inside of the fucking internet made me think of evil speak and now it's gonna fuck me up all day from lawnmower man to lawn meower man Ooh. oh god lawnmower man <laughs> that was like one of the cheapest nice blu-rays i bought i think i got it for like five bucks have you seen lawnmower man billy i've never seen lawnmower you'll man. understand why if you ever see lawnmower man i've heard a lot about lawnmower man just because of like the like people would be like ah oh, it's a movie about what if in the future the, the people r robots or whatever. I don't know. I just remember the the Here, guy the guy who man. looks like this. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, is that the lawnmower? Is that is it him? Is that lawnmower man? It's it's a term. Uh oh, you know who did a video on lawnmower man? That's right. Oh, cool. Yeah, they gave him a cat credit card. Please. <laughs> oh. yeah, they don't actually I don't think they ever say lawnmower man during the movie but the director's cut includes a bunch of chimpanzee <clears throat> stuff they cut out of the main movie it's always chimps yeah it's a it's a big it's chimp movie chimps. if it's the director's it's... cut dude director's cuts always add chimps which I mean if I had the power I would do that like if this movie had fucking chimps I'd be down well speaking of director's cut apparently this uninvited has yes. an alternative version which is 92 minutes long with a different opening and ending and yep. what? topless scene. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> I was wondering about that. The international <clears throat> version of this movie was uh, edited in Italy. and uh, uh, that, Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's why the boobs. Well, I was <laughs> saying like during the movie, I was like, it's kind of weird that this is like kind of a trashy premise, like a cat inside of a cat. And but also, like they're having, there's so much sex. Yeah, well, they have sex scenes, but no nudity, which is it's weird for this kind of movie. Yeah, they, they really tease the shit out of it, though. Oh, when yeah. those it's girls so were like strange. pulling the, on their the fucking two, bras and shit. Oh yeah, and they're like taking their shirts off in the kitchen. Yeah, like, oh, it's so hot in here. It's like yeah. it's so hot. And the third guy's there. He's like, I just feel like Woody Allen. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Maybe I don't feel so much like Errol Flynn. Maybe more like Woody Allen. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's crazy that the humping was so dry with all the fucking water everywhere. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing I read, actually, is that uh, you were right about uh, Billy or, or Mandy. I can't remember who said, but uh, about the shots of when the boat's sinking, that was in the director's pool. Oh, was pull. it in the director's that, it's Yeah, it was always shot like in that. the wow. director's pool. Those movies, those movies are all the same. They're always like that. It's always like, oh, I was well. wondering, I was like, that doesn't really look like ocean water because it's pretty, like, clear. 
It's like that's probably you know they just threw the furniture and stuff in a pool and yeah. said here's our set and we're good to go. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. Like, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh yeah, it was called Killer Cat in Europe. That that's a lot. That's a lot I more mean, straightforward. Oh, the taglines yeah, are great as well for this film. Like cats have nine lives, you only have one. <laughs> there should have been oh, nine cats even... in that cat. There should have oh, been. Oh, that would have been they're fun. All smaller, just like a Russian doll. Just <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! Cat. And then it becomes a little parasite. Like at the end, it's yeah, a little parasite, great. and then it goes into the blood like AIDS, or I, I don't know how AIDS <laughs> works. <laughs> you didn't watch the Captain director. Planet episode. Yeah, you you didn't. I didn't watch the Captain Planet episode where he's also I, kind of incorrect. But it's I should fine. Have, I should have paid more attention to this movie since it knows so much about AIDS. Yeah, which is that don't touch don't touch the, food. Uh, you know, you can touch, but you can't eat food. I still I would have to see his exact quote on it. It's like, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like. This is what people think AIDS is, and like a cat claws your face off. I should have to rewatch the commentary track, but the thing is, it's so long. I would have to find where it is in the commentary track, and it's a really odd, like random comment where he's just like, "Actually, the part of the parasite where they can touch each other that has to do with the AIDS epidemic." And I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> He, like he he says something of the sort, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is this this took a turn, man. Oh, Very man. weird." The cat poisons it, the food. The cat poisons the, cat the food. Poisons the, food. the cat poisons well, it, the food. Like the cat is so passive for most of the movie. Like it only was attacking when it was fucked with. Like they brought on the boat yeah. and it was fine. It only got upset if they were like mean in the room, and then it just goes, you know what? Fuck everyone. And then it just goes. <laughs> I think I think the cat's character lacked a lot of motivation. I, it I, well, it had motivations, and then it uh, it didn't. Yeah. I, I also you just law. said that. I also love like the context of the boat, like the scene where the guy is like talking about the SSC at the very beginning when they're on the yacht and the all the rich fucks are on the yacht. And they're talking to the one guy, and the guy's like, "I would never tell anybody that I that I, I would never tell anybody. I would never tell the SEC on you." And it's like presumably that's like the night before. But then, like, the night after, there's, oh, yeah. like, a big party that we never get to see and all this, like, food that was eaten mm. everywhere and lingerie from other women that we never get to see. It's almost like there was a, supposed to be a party scene that was just, like, five to ten minutes long that just got cut entirely. Just, they cut it. Maybe that's an international version. Oh, dude, maybe. Maybe, maybe it has just... more meows in the international version. Oh, God, that's yeah, right. Speaking of reusing the same take again and again, they had... What? They had one MP3 of the cat. There, meowing. There's one cat meow, and there's the sound of the cat upset. There's <laughs> and then there's <laughs> <laughs> but and they like they, it they'll cut, cut it short. So they clip it. Yeah, it plays like on a close up when its mouth isn't moving. You just it holds they, the cat and it oh. just plays the same meow like five just, times. The cat was, was just like looking at the camera like it wants to fucking die, and it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is vital to no way, not with this cat. I'm taking my little baby with me. There was terrible ADR throughout the entire film as well. Oh my god. Like oh, the yeah. guy was Ram, drinking Ram. and you just hear you him hear laugh. Like, <laughs> but he's like <laughs> mouth over the bottle. And oh, it's just so they just out had of had place. A microscope. Was it a microscope or was it like a weird no, they, sextant? Yeah, they, it was a sextant no, what they did? used to see the blood. Right. A yeah. Sextant. Was it yeah. a sextant for blood? It was a sextant, and then it, then he was like, "Do you have a prism or prism or <laughs> like some kind of magnifying glass?" Dude, it's like it's like yeah, I've got one right here. It's like what? <laughs> would, yeah, no, maybe it would work. You don't know. What are you science? I, I doubt. What are you a science? I'm gonna buy a sextant off Amazon right now. I like I like skip like that scene. I didn't absorb that scene until like later when he's talking about the cat poisoning the food. I was like. Wait a minute, was that like a... F did he make a microscope MacGyver style yeah. to investigate the blood? He MacGyvered the fuck oh out of that God. sextant. Sextants are expensive. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> they're not like mass produced dollars. anymore. We have a, get a Garmer. Garner, whatever they're called. Use your phone. Damn. But you can't use your phone to analyze blood samples. You can if you give me a prism. <laughs> Oh. Glass. Yeah, the prism How much I'm is a prism? I'm my need. phone and adding a prism to it. I can see Let's, the I, sea. I'm going to go on Amazon, see how much a prism is so I can analyze blood samples. <laughs> $20. That's not bad. 
If I'm ever in a fucked up situation, I can keep it on my person. Same day shipping for the prism in case somebody's attacking you. In case a cat is poisoning your food, you know what's happening. You can analyze the fucking uh, We have to analyze bloods. the bread crust to see how the it bread has poisoned crust. the food. Oh, I, I'm just so confused why he did that in the first place. Like, why did he analyze the blood? Because he, he needed to know... No, no, no. But the, the guy just got felt... They, they thought, like, oh, he fell off overboard. And there was like, no, it was, oh, no, wait, no, no, it was after, after the other guy. Okay, yeah, it sorry, was the, 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 it was the big guy. And then he yeah, gets the bitten on the, on the feet. Yeah, 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 yeah because right, his, right. his leg almost gets, his foot almost gets amputated off. And then we see the wide shot. His leg's kind of red. Like, wow, like how'd the cat chew through this? It's like, there's something wrong with his blood. We need to check the cat DNA. Yeah, that's right. All right yeah, right. Obviously, you know what? this movie duh. does make sense. One Stop thinking thing. so much. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's a movie. Turn day. off and have fun. God, just eat some popcorn. Have some freaking fun for once. You know, if these guys <laughs> lived in the moment, maybe they wouldn't have died to the cat. Just <laughs> That's so true. so true. I can't believe the film was never in theaters. I actually can't either. It was made for... Like, if I was in um, uh, the 80s and I wanted to... You know, like, it's a popcorn movie. Yeah, like Ant-Man. Just like Ant-Man. It's just like Quantumania. This movie could have been improved if Paul Rudd had shown the clip from Uninvited where the cat poisons the food oh at Conan O'Brien every time he went. Yeah, instead of the <laughs> fucking uh, yeah. the Mac, and me. The Mac and me. Oh, dude, that's a movie I would love to fucking... I would love to do uh, all, an episode on that. All I know about Mac One and of me my is favorites. it has so much product placement in it, and also every time I see the yeah, little goblin in Mac and it's me, I, Mac and well, me. Like, every time I think about Mac and me, I think immediately of Julian. I don't know what it is but every single time oh because, every single because his time. art on the his art on the oh, that, yeah, um, his art on the thing is, is, is yeah it's mac and me wait oh, mac and that's me is about right. mcdonald's yes okay yeah, it's the mcdonald's what? movie what yeah i thought it was movie, like an et e. ripoff it is it is it's but it's e. made by mcdonald's now what like, let's call him mac and there's like they have a dance party at mcdonald's yeah, like with Big ronald mac. mcdonald there no yeah. way they do aliens this is real the aliens drink Coca-Cola on their home planet yeah, by that's shoving a survive. straw into the ground and sipping out Coke. Oh yeah. my when they're on, god. When they're on Earth, they give them Coke and they're like, they like it. It's like what's on their home planet. And remember, kids, oh. whenever you drink a delicious, <sighs> ice-cold, crisp Coca-Cola, you're actually drinking asteroid juice. Yeah, so wait. one of the main characters works for Coke, for uh, McDonald's. So yeah. he calls a Mac after... Mac uh, the Big Mac. After yeah, the no, Big no, Mac? A big yeah, no, he eats a Big Mac, and then yeah. he's like, I gotta give you a name. I have an idea. <laughs> no, it is not that direct. <laughs> this I wish it was. Mac. I mean, it... it, it I they mean, eat them okay, constantly, though. To be though. fair, like, to be fair, it could... It, it, the movie could have done that, and oh, I would not yes. be surprised. Well, his mom's like, what do you want for dinner? And he goes, a Big Mac. And then they drive off to McDonald's. Yeah, like, it's no, constant. Yeah, and, and then his, his sister works at a McDonald's, yeah. and it, she's like, this is the best job I've ever had. I feel acknowledged and loved at my job at McDonald's. And then she looks at the camera and smiles. Neighbor's she sister goes, loves Don't her job And then she does like a little fist bump. <laughs> I love not being unionized, and you should too, viewer. Mm, they Mac. keep taking my paycheck away from me. <laughs> Yum. Can I can Big I Mac. ask a question? What's scarier, Mac from Mac and Me, or uh, the animatronic for Sunday from the uh, McDonald's commercial V, uh, the McDonald's cartoon VHS tapes? What the what fuck is that? Oh, that's Ronald <laughs> McDonald's dog Sunday. I, I'm. Why is that name familiar? By the Why way, does it have that's the condition eyes? that Sunday is in currently. Oh, oh Sunday. My god. Oh my god, it's all it's oh. terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus. It looks Christ. like the bye bye man. There's dog. a smaller dog <laughs> inside of that. There's a smaller <laughs> dog Why? inside of that dog. <laughs> Why do I remember this thing vaguely? Uh, because that's the McDonald's VHS tapes. You probably saw the cartoons when you were a kid. It was Grimace oh, Island. I don't have any memory of it. Like I remember fucking Grimace and Bird and uh Hamburglar. I almost called the bird Chica, and I know that's incorrect. Because they played, <sighs> they played, um, these, these, these were essentially Ronald McDonald VHS tapes that, uh, like, uh, McDonald's sold directly. And I'm pretty right. sure that most people my age have seen them oh, and have, like, I, stuffed the memory down inside of them. I vaguely remember this animated dog. This they looks sold like these. the All Real Monsters it art does. style. I remember they sold these at McDonald's for, like, $5 extra or some shit, right? It was, like, a cheap, like, it was a super cheap 
VHS tape that you could get with a Happy Meal, like by adding like five bucks. What's I'll crazy? Be honest, I'm, I'm okay with Grimace having a birthday, what's, but I'd kill this fucking thing. Mandy, what's crazy <laughs> is it is class. It is class key, class key Chupo who did the. Oh, it is for okay. It, yeah. I mean, it I sure mean, it makes looks sense. like it. Looks it. like it. Just yeah. Looking at him, they were big back then, so it it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So big. So, uh, cat, what if a cat poisons the food? What if there was a smaller Ronald McDonald food. inside of Ronald McDonald? Actually, the hot thing is, what if there was a smaller Grimace inside of Grimace and it came out and it was uninvited after you drank the Grimace shake? We're so Aren't trendy with so our Grimace. We're here. so trendy. We know about Grimace horror. Oh, I I remember the. Oh my! All my memories got unlocked immediately. <laughs> That's okay. what I'm here <laughs> for. I'm here to unlock forbidden memories. I didn't have the tapes, but I saw the commercials oh, for the, the tapes. Oh, the Ronald McDonald. Yes. Yeah, Ronald McDonald looked like a fucking weirdo because yeah. he had like. Yeah, yeah. Spiky. Yeah, I recognized Ronald terrifying. from the commercials. It was I remember so weird. I didn't have a tape though. That's right. Fucked up. What me and the, the Hamburglar had the same glasses. Brendan, your brain is like an AM radio station. Sometimes it just like my brain is what I would call a spirit. <laughs> it remembers box. it so you don't have to. Huh? My brain is a spirit <laughs> box. It's it's constantly <laughs> cycling through radio stations and giving you pareidolia, so you think you're hearing a pattern, but actually I'm just I saying nonsense. Believe that's. Yeah. Another wrinkle in my brain that hasn't moved in probably 20 years is just like shaking in violence right now. Remember this? Oh, God. Fuck Remember me Alone up. in the Jesus Dark? Christ. Remember the Red Moss Monster that was scary as hell? Yeah, the, in the pool. In the pool, yeah. yeah. The dead Man Float. No one's yeah, scary. yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel like we've talked about the Red Man, the Dead Man Pool like a billion oh, times. I could have called it Red Man Float too. There was also the, the, the clown guy. From that one episode, he's scared. Oh, the shit out of me. Zebo! Yeah. Zebo. I am, I'm still oh pushing God. that at some point I'm pondering we watch the lost Nickelodeon horror movie that is only available on YouTube now. That was lost for what? years. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, you don't what? know about it? One second, let me look it no, up again. I gotta remember the name so. of it. Oh my god, I love these rabbit holes. I love how the second part of every pondering is just Brendan being like, remember I, this? I, this is a problem. Is I'm a repository for worthless shit. It's a genuine problem. It's awesome. No, it's awesome. I love this. I love knowing about Cry Baby Lane. Cry Baby Nickelodeon Lane. So, horror movie. So Cry Baby Lane was a oh, movie that you, only no, aired you once. to me about that. I have, yeah. Cry Baby Lane Cry only Baby aired Lane. once on Nickelodeon. It was a horror movie that they aired, and they only aired it once because parents too were scary. like, it's too scary. And so it was lost for years because the original tapes for it were lost and then somebody ended up recording it on VHS. Oh, that's so cool. So it's genuine oh, lost media that got found. Oh, that's actually creepy. I'm looking at pictures Yo, and like clips what? of it. This what actually the fuck? Looks, yeah, this yeah, looks neat. Crybaby Lane would be awesome to cover because it was a Nickelodeon bandit. It got lost forever and then it's only available that's on this horrible wild. VHS rip and it will never be released again. Which is nuts because it must be archived somewhere. Well, actually, uh, a lot of TV stuff does go in the toilet, so maybe a not. A full movie, though? Surely someone just, like, saved how, it. How full is it? Somewhere. Is it, like, well, yeah, actual, they just put like, it on YouTube. Right how now, long I just is it? it yeah, it's... Cry no, 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 the whole movie is on YouTube. That's the only... Yeah. Uh, it was how a, long is it? It's about an hour, hour ten. ten. Oh, it is an actual full movie. Mm -hmm. They could stuff in a good 50 minutes of Oh, my God, it says Teen Nick. Oh, for then, that probably 20. Oh, it was Teen Nick. It was a Nick, like... Wait, so it was they didn't show that on Nick at night? No, no. it was it was well, Teen Nick, yeah. Weird. It, was, it was right I think right before all Teen that. Teen Nick was that transitional time slot. Oh, that's even this weirder is up next to me. Keenan and Kel. Yeah. You know what else the guy the guy who made this made? He made The Great Wall starring Matt Damon. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah. You know that movie's about aliens? <laughs> What? I thought they were like demons or something. It was like alien demon things. That's I, don't I think they're alien. I, demons, I'm gonna be honest. I have a soft spot for that movie. I kind of like it. It's so stupid. I've never isn't, seen it. Isn't Matt so Damon weird. only in that movie because he's there for gunpowder or some shit? Like I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So but Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal and Willem Dafoe are also in that movie. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I had no. Have you idea. never watched I, I, it? No, no I've never watched it. Wild. I, because it was, I a, know it was a Chinese weird. studio, and they hired like yeah. big, big actor, big Western actors to be in it. So they put Matt Damon on it. It was the Chinese. It was like the Chinese. Um, they wanted to break into the U.S. market, so they they like had a deal with Universal to distribute the movie in theaters in the U.S. And that's how that happened. Oh my god. I had no, yeah. I, I had no idea. I thought, I thought Matt Damon was the only like it was like Last Samurai kind of like, no. like the only one, but like no, it's crazier than that. <laughs> that's insane, dude. I could see <laughs> Willem Dafoe's character looks so funny. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I, I do need to see this. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. He produced the movie. Never mind. <sighs> he produced it. That. He didn't direct. Yeah, he didn't okay. direct. He didn't direct it. He only produced it. That's so disappointing. 
I really wanted story by Max Brooks. What? <laughs> oh, for what? <laughs> for the Great Wall or the Great Wall? Yeah, what? no. This movie is weird as fuck. What the fuck? Max Brooks, writer of the Zombie Survival World Guide, but he? also writer yeah. of a uh, uh, fucking <laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft books. Yeah, he's written a bunch of Minecraft. What a books. rabbit hole, Jesus Christ! Or it, should we call it a cat hole? Uh, I don't want. I don't say cat hole. Don't. I don't like Billy saying mm -hmm. that. Oh, I don't wait, like I that. just realized like that. that. Wait, no, you're right. You're right. I didn't think about it. You're going to think about it. so much on the Discord later of just like, cat hole, no, cat, cat, no. hole cat hole, cat veto. hole, cat veto, hole. Veto, 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 I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> no, cut everything apart from Brendan's sake. Yeah, I can't believe we're cutting cat hole. <laughs> no context, just... I just have not say that. Oh my god. Cat attacks the crew. I did not think this movie was going to be on a boat as well, based on the name. I thought it was going to be like in a fucking house well, or some shit. Like, un give it the kind of rise treatment. Have the cat like start at the lower floor of an apartment and then attacking people. And then on their it way just up. moves oh, up. It's like the well, raid. It, it's oh like my a, god! It's like a great value alien. Like we kind of want to have. They're isolated out. They're isolated out somewhere. There's something bad about its blood. There's like a bitey thing. Oh my of god! Thing. This is terrestrial alien. You're right. Yeah. This is just yeah. terrestrial air alien. Oh my god! Except yeah, it's like. Sure. He watched Alien and went, what if Jonesy was the monster <laughs> and it was AIDS? Uh, hey, what if it was AIDS? You're right. What if instead of just... I just don't get the parasite. There, it doesn't need to be a parasite or a virus. It could have just been like the cat killing people. Why did it have to give people AIDS? Hire that fucker from Cool Hand Luke. The bonus situation. Let me ask you this. Um, yes. For uninvited, if you could change one thing, and this specific thing, if you could change the cat into any other animal to make the movie a lot funnier, what animal would you change the cat into? Everything else stays the same. Lion or tiger? Giraffe. Kangaroo. Oh shit, kangaroo's so good. I, I want giraffe because then we would have scenes of random, like, like they're just hanging out in the fucking little area where they party and dance for like five minutes straight, and then the window would break and then there would just be a giraffe neck going uh, well, that's what's good because giraffe can like put his head down and then a little giraffe head yeah. comes out and goes like super far oh, but kangaroo, kangaroo kangaroo can like jump out at you and then a little kangaroo comes out of yes. the couch and it's all fucked up oh yes yes oh, i was yeah. thinking i was thinking there's a there's a smaller kangaroo inside the of the joey kangaroo has a joey. and then inside of the joey there's another joey there's a Oh my god! See, I, I, it's I, I, an army. I don't know. I have. I was having two two schools of thought on this to make it a lot funnier. And then you can give them boxing gloves. Oh, I, god. I, and it talks. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out. I, I was thinking, change it to just a naked man. <laughs> and keep the movie exactly the same. The oh, naked man just... does everything the cat does. So they still go like, oh, how cute. And they pick up the naked <laughs> and man and came on the boat. Hurting and clawing the air. <laughs> <laughs> and then That's a smaller a... naked uh... man comes out of his body. Oh, no, that, would just be fucking just... that feels like an no, X-Files episode. He's, I don't know why. he's right, though. That is the funniest if like it's just a naked man. No, this is the great. What is this? What is that fucking thing you said? He's, this is the Great Gazoo again. <laughs> uh, this is the Three Degrees from the Great Gazoo. <laughs> I'm just saying, you add the Great Gazoo to the movie, the movie becomes 200% better. Well, you no. said only one person can see the Great but Gazoo. Only, well, no, <laughs> the bit was, only one person can see the Great Gazoo and they die immediately, and then the Great Gazoo keeps following the cat and talking to thin air and nobody else says <laughs> He's anything. He's just commenting about what's happening and nobody, like, nobody Same answers. Same vibe as the Duke Nukem voiceover in Bulletstorm. Same vibe. Oh my oh god. My only, god. Only, the, only the target of the naked man can see, see him, and then once they die, the new target can see him. Oh, <laughs> oh like... <laughs> but that's it follows <laughs> it follows with the great gazoo yeah <laughs> another another school of thought that i was having on this like replace the animal with a different animal was the I way you say the way you ex you say that it's a school of thought it's like it's a listen, fucking religious like, like, in a over the way ages, because i think it's funny over the ages people have thought about <laughs> listen, this listen <laughs> in the uninvited lexicon the great <laughs> <laughs> the great library of Alexandria where oh people are God. pondering and wondering about uninvited for decades and decades <laughs> and decades. I was thinking another oh funny, like God. another re 
replacement of the cat that would be really funny to me, but only in like the context of one scene that I would change is if it was a snake instead of a cat and the smaller snake came out of the bigger snake and a character looked, pointed, it zoomed in on their face and they said, Ouroboros, and then they died. <laughs> oh, All right, Brian, Brian, one question. Is it the live action Great Gazoo? Or no, is it the, the cartoon, I hate the the great cartoon Great oh, Gazoo? The, oh, like, it, same thing as when, like, okay, so it would look exactly like that one episode of Bones with... <laughs> with Stewie Griffin! You know what I'm... Yeah! Stewie Griffin. Uh, I know not live action you, The Great Gazoo. No. Yeah, I was literally, I was literally yeah. about to post it because it is That's much actually scarier. terrifying. It would yeah. be, oh, yeah. It would, it would be, freaky. It would be so like so David scary. Boreanaz talking to Stewie Griffin in the episode of Bones where he has a brain tumor, but he's also at a sperm clinic. Oh, my and God. And Stewie Griffin says... Give me a little peek of the booby booth. Come on, just a little peek of the booby. Mm. A little peek of the booby. A little peek of the booby. Jesus Christ! Now, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I. I feel like I've done so much Brendaning this episode again. I don't know if I want to drop another. It, no, one. no. Go, go, go. I, I'm ready. We okay. got you. We sequel to this you, movie you called Invited, yes. where an old <laughs> lady takes the cat in, and then <gasps> oh, the cat. The cat lady. And she's the cat lady. She takes the cat in, and then uses the cat to get revenge on the town. Oh my god! That's, that's Are we terminated case. towing the cat? Mm. How does she find out? Like, are her cat? Do, do her other cats go missing? Or is how does she, she know the cat's sitting there? Cat? And all of oh, like no, her she mistakes cats. The, she mistakes one of her cats for that cat, and then she brings it back home. And then the little goblin cat pops out yeah. to eat the kibble, and she's like, "I can, oh, you, I can, can work with this." Yeah, and uh, she's <clears> crazy. At first, she's like, "My my, how strange!" But then she gets in. She's like, "Oh shit, I could use this." I want to eat some like nasty animal preying on the cats. Like there's some horrible, there's some horrible like possum thing. No, not possum. It would be like, what's, what's an animal that like hunts cats? Usually they're birds, like hawks and stuff. The male or the, the mean neighbor kid. It fucks up the mean neighbor kid. Oh. He like fucks up the cats. And then it fucks the the no, because mailmans are dog things. Never mind. <laughs> I mean that could be a joke too, though. Mailman like, comes and the cat gets him. Oh my god. Yeah, the, he puts her his son's hand. trying to put her in like a care home. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, imagine the viscosity and the gore level of like the mailman reaching his hand in the mail slot oh, with yeah. the mail in, and the, the, the ca- uninvited cat grabs him, and with the strength of a of a thousand cats, oh, the he lion, rips him in. he rips him through the mail slot and oh, sludges his body. Oh, that would the be day. so fucking nuts. That would be awesome. Yo, this movie would rock. <laughs> Yo, if this movie wasn't this movie, it would rock so hard. <laughs> If it was called Invited. <laughs> if it was called Invited, and it, completely and it was a completely different plot. Completely different plot. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm. I don't. Okay, but for the sequel, fuck the virus. Like the virus is stupid. Oh, the virus really double down on the virus. No, Start the down. movie. Start the movie. No, no. The awful sequel idea. Start the movie Turn where the cast. uninvited cat is in a big tube, like one of those science tubes what? where like they keep a body oh in, God. like a big tube, yeah. and the cat never escapes the tube, and the whole movie is about oh the virus God. and the poison. Huh. No. That's Lame. That would yeah, exactly. be so lame. Make it like a movie like Quarantine, where like no. they're experimenting on what people I want. with the cat virus and the cat never escapes the tube. What I want is what we talked about. Like I thought that the virus would make it so that they make it so that there's a cat inside people. Or that or they turn into like people a big into cats. Cat thing. Yeah. Like that's It'd be like what, the Scooby Doo movie on Zombie Island where it they become be. fucked up cat yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. That would be feral. so much cooler. Like cuz the virus is lame. It kills people in lame ways. Just turn people into cats. Wait, to be fair, Mandy, that's during it. commentary you did say Hanna Barbera vibes. It that was during the dance scene. During the dance scene when they like, Hanna Barbera characters. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you brought up a great kazoo. Jabberjaw could have fixed this movie so hard. Jabberjaw could have stopped that cat the second it went in the water. Oh, but then the cat would have poisoned Jabberjaw. What's the cat, the dog that goes... <laughs> Mutley. Or whatever, like... <laughs> Mutley, yeah. Mutley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the, that guy who dog. races or... Wacky races. D- 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 yeah, Dick Dastardly. Dastardly. Dick Dastardly Dick and Mutley. Dastardly. Dastardly. Yeah. It's a banger. I love Wacky races. God, Hanna Barbera had such a dark age. They could revive it. They could revive this movie. I'm just saying. I really like Invited. Invited is a good Invited's idea. It's really funny. It's like the start of the Puss in Boots movie, but it becomes like a horror movie. I, I guess. was going to say it's like it's like the prequel to Cats. Just, <laughs> yeah, it turns it into Cats. Oh, finally I, know what oh my god! It has is. to be. It has to be a fucking. It has to be a musical. It will, Invited uh, has to uh, be a musical. <laughs> in the last scene, one starts singing. Yeah. It, the cat. No, the cat has to sing, but it, it's only in meows. In a world where one cat is inside a cat. <laughs> They use the same sound bite. They don't. Yeah. Yeah. 
Just pitch it. I mean, they never had more. Otherwise, otherwise I, I couldn't tell that it's a sequel to Uninvited. How That's many? So okay, true. so if Uninvited was a franchise, how many movies before the cat goes to space? Four. four. Uh, it's always four. Yeah. Yeah. Rule of four is Brendan. Hellraiser. What Jason wasn't four though. Leprechaun Jason, was four, I think. Yeah, it, it was the fourth one. Is this the original Cloverfield paradox? Critters is also four. <laughs> Except Critters for is four. Though technically, Critters sort of started. With, yeah, but yeah, they were more in space and four. I'm trying to think which because Hellraiser has... was four. It's still fucked up that, that Leonardo one DiCaprio is in Critters Three. I still think about what? that. Yeah, it's like one of his first roles. Yeah, what? Yeah, Leonardo, I did not Leonardo know that. DiCaprio is in Critters Three. That's actually wild. But anyway, the cat poisons the water supply and burns down our village. I he does do that. How would we count Dracula Three Thousand? Like that's not really a franchise. I mean, okay, wait, okay. How about this? Was it which which? Was it the Friday seventh or Friday eight? Because I no, Friday eight was it was, there was no, Jason, Jason X. X is the tenth. Yeah, right. That's why it's Jason X and he he has a holodeck scene. He does have a holodeck scene. People hate that scene. I love that scene. I think it's a great time. Yeah, I like when he hits the campers in the big sleeping bag. Yeah, it's a great scene. I like I I, I, I hate Friday, but sometimes it has good scenes. I think Friday fucking I mean, sucks it's, though. It's you watch it for kills and it's doesn't take it takes a while to get there it's funny watching you watch one that's like where's jason oh god and, i had a more yeah, i thought you were talking where... about the ice cube movie what do you watch uninvited for if you're watching friday for kills like where if you're if you're like cat, uh, a cat a cat. for cinematic yeah, yeah, you watch it for cinematic uh i don't know man fuck you <laughs> you watch it for the david lynch <laughs> twin peaks zoom on the crazy lady that one you watch time. it for that oh, one gosh. scene at the end where the cat stares at you oh and the weird oh, also, phone that kid shit. at the end i think was the director's kid he's credited with the same last name as the director i think oh well there you go it's a family affair ah, nepotism once again gets a kid to hold a cat within a cat I never got to hold the cat within a cat at the old animal fair. I fucking love how he just stares blankly at the camera and just slowly jump cuts towards him. It's a good movie. So didn't talk about the quick time event at the end and the fucking <laughs> weird like tone change as well, oh, where the oh. music comes that starts swelling, like as they're like the boat's sinking and they're Man. just like watching. They're like, hey, we got a million dollars. <laughs> Yay! When and Mandy they said it was like the killer croc fight in Park of yeah. Oh yeah, Asylum. yeah. <laughs> it really is. So it just jumps Yippee. out and they slap it back into the water. Oh, I'm fine. And I'm then fine. he jumps out jumps again. Back up. And then he says, "Oh, the reason why is because he he's looking for something that floats. So let's throw the luggage." I love those. Anybody goofy else thought gold. it was fucking weird how she just kind of kisses the random dude at the end i'd be freaked out i'd be like well they were the that. two intellectuals so. but they yeah. just saw everyone die the ship yeah, was sinking they, in oh. a maelstrom they're like we have a million dollars they're jewels betty they're jewels they start hugging they're, they're like yeah, no, we can, no we can, i mean we the can guy do at the your end. psycho we can buy a boat biology like, i can buy science and they're yeah. so happy <laughs> yeah they did do well, that. So they played backgammon together come on that's yeah. like the first they're step super of a relationship smart. that was like actually a thing in the commentary track he kept being like yeah so back, he had a weird, he kind of had a weird thing where he was like, now that's a real game, not like those video games and mobile games. Now that's <laughs> a bad game and that's a smart, per that's an intelligent game. And I was like, what the fuck? Is, what a weird <laughs> rant to have like in the middle of your fucking movie. Apparently, uh, Graydon Glart really fucking hates people who do not like bad game. Why? That's such a I weird don't fucking thing to know. Like, There's so you many don't like weird backgammon? things. backgammon? Fuck you. <laughs> he says so many weird things in that commentary track, man. It's it's a, he's a strange dude. He thinks cats are more sci-fi than rats, so like I don't know what to tell you. It was also weird how often the gun changed hands during the second half. Considering oh, you're they so right, bestie. He get like they hold the rich person at like gunpoint and they like basically capture him because they're like, oh, you're evil, and the SEC wants to get you, and you're like a bad guy. Yeah. Because you're trying to escape and leave us all alone. So they, like, capture him with the gun. They go down to the engine room to, like, check the engine room for, like, the cat to try to, like, get it. And then at that point, they're just like, oh, yeah, rich guy here. You can also have the gun. And the rich guy doesn't, like, take advantage of it or anything. The rich guy's, like, holding on yes, to it. Yeah. And then he gives it back. He just I gives think the it back. Reason why, I think the reason why is because he's like, oh, well, we're, we're already fucked. So I'm not going to fuck them over even more. We're already fucked. Like, he literally says, like, ah. Oh, 
we're we're fucked. We're in this situation where we're just gonna die. Just give up. So maybe he was just like, oh, I'm giving up. I I don't know. That it doesn't really like suit his characterization. I I mean, I guess it doesn't like it doesn't fucking really. He's of his his characterization was asshole rich guy. But you know, I feel like an asshole rich guy would be like, haha, I've got the gun now. You have to do what I say. We're gonna get on that rowboat. With my millions. Or, it seemed like that's where it was Kinda going. Just, yeah. it was yeah. like, why would you hand him the gun? But then it's... Yeah, and he also drops the rowboat. He's like, it's time to drop the rowboats. And then for some reason, the other characters are like, no, don't drop the rowboats. Why didn't they? Ro- wait, why didn't they do it? Because they had to wait until later. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's true. That's the only they, they reason. They could fix the engine. They were going to fix the engine before the sinking <laughs> happened. What the fuck, man? I, I didn't even think about how fucking stupid that was. It's so Let's fucked you up. You want to row to shore from like wherever because the the captain got really trashed and he brought the ship who knows where out in the ocean. Yeah, he went so far out when he got drunk. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Wa- I, I was okay while I was on my fishing trip. I was like, I I, I had like brought Can we a think bunch of. <laughs> <so much? laughs> I I kept I I brought my uh, a bunch of. Mo- like my shitty movies from my shitty movie collection and i brought this movie because i knew that we would be doing this episode uh at first i was like oh i'll watch it but then i i thought about it i was like maybe i shouldn't watch it because we're like it would be f- more fun to have genuine reaction one thing that my friends noticed is that whenever i pick a movie there's always a rape scene and if we watch this that would have been the fourth movie with a rape scene that i picked <laughs> I Jesus have a thing. Christ. I don't know why. Every oh time I pick God. a movie, I, I, I don't know if I, you want to okay. say that, Billy. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if you want to say I you watch. have a thing. We're fucking. Oh wait, yeah, wait, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> the thing is, I had, I picked, I picked, Hell Comes to Frog Town, because I was like, oh, fun movie where they, they, they. Rowdy Pouty 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 Piper. Rowdy Rowdy Piper Rowdy. I don't know what happened to my v- fucking brain there. He he like kills frogs. And then I learned what they what the frogs do to women. And I was like, that's not very nice, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we watched another Chinese horror movie and it had another scene like that in it. And then I watched another current thriller that had another scene like that. And my friend was like, dude, can you stop fucking picking movies? There's always a rape scene. It makes me uncomfortable. And I was like, I don't fucking know. I just buy these movies. I mean, this one didn't. It it was in the it was well, in the territory. It, it was stopped. <laughs> it was well, stopped that, by the cat. It was stopped incredibly early on by the cat. Well, it was stopped by oh no by guy. The, the guy. Yeah, the, and then the there was gunshots. Guy. And then cat. Yeah. Well, no, because the the cat the cat alerted the guy. The cat was like, "Hey, yeah." The cat the cat on. was unhappy with it. It is weird how you root for the cat for a good chunk of the movie, and then he becomes the bad guy. It, he just says "fuck these people," which is I very just, cat-like, I guess. It's like you know what? Forget it. Fuck these guys. Fuck these clowns. I'm out. Um, Billy, I'm reading the synopsis for Hell Comes to Frogtown, and how did you think this was going to I didn't read the synopsis. <laughs> okay. I, I like... literally did not know. Like, I all I knew was that there was a wrestler that the, the wrestler that was in They Live was in this movie. People recommended to me in the past because it's a fun action romp, and there's frog mutants. That's all I knew, and I was like, that sounds like a fun time. And the then, poster like, for this kind of does go hard. I will, I'll, that's, I'll what I, that. that's what I'm saying. I was like, "Oh, it's Mad Max with frogs," and then it was it was not Mad Max with frogs. No, it was. Yeah, what did you guys think about this movie? You did you like it? I will always. It was cool. <laughs> it, was it was cool. cool. I had a fun time watching it with my pals. If we're going into into the ratings, would you say it was art or cool? I would say it was cool. I refuse it's to cool call it a It's definitely cool. It's cool. I it's definitely refuse cool. Refuse to call it art. There's not a which is universe. weird. Real, realizing he intended it as art, but it's so clearly cool. I like. There's not even a I, it's hint so of art. Insane to me that he called it <laughs> that he called it an allegory for AIDS. Especially like watching the movie for the first time now with the knowledge that he said that I'm even more like completely confused, like zero idea what the fuck he's talking about. It's so insane. It's so clearly cool. I don't know where he got it from. To be fair, that Ray, he doesn't know about cool art, cool versus art. I mean, he drove that truck off a cliff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and another movie, not for this movie, maybe. But then he like, used it. We that, didn't, that movie we didn't was, know. I didn't know until it was like, oh, yeah. 
Do you think it looks so dumpy? I'm like, oh, they bought they bought scrap for this and pushed it yeah. off the cliff. Do you think that like on set on the last day of shooting, every day he was walking around with the script and he was talking about like, get it? It's on a boat. Get it? You get why? And he'd like point at the boat, like the toy boat, and he'd say, because the boat's gonna cat size. Oh. <laughs> How many times do you think they said that? I thought he the... was going around like saying it was art, like being really serious and dour, like remember what the movie is this about. Is, this movie will change the world. How he talked about the movie was like that. He was like. He was talking about how this movie was like unsurprised. He was unsurprised by the fact that it caught on so quickly and made a lot of people happy and acknowledge him. But I don't think he understands why. Band Aid did uh, nothing for the gay community, unlike me. <laughs> yeah, no, he was literally like, I hope that the gay community appreciates this. Appreciate this one's for those gays out there. <laughs> what an insane thing to say. Yeah, this movie's pretty cool. I recommend it. If you want to watch this, it's pretty easy to find nowadays. It's been it's on Shutter. It's on uh, it's on Tubi. It's on Freebie. It's like it's it, you can watch it for free with ads, like in a couple places. And uh, Vinegar Syndrome has the version that we watch, but it's all the same version. It's just that Vinegar Syndrome has like a, a fucking beautiful 1080p transfer. Of course they because do. They just. They just get garbage and make it shine. <sighs> it was cool. Movies. Movies. That cat poison all that damn food. Hey, thanks so much for listening. I have a cough, but I'll still say your name if you're one of our supporters on Patreon. Alan Diver, Art of Vagen, Beer, Boopulu, Caffeine Addicted Chemist. G's Dreams, Chris Chapman, Christian B, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Good Guy Daniel, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, Jeff Smith, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco Man, Samuel, Nothing Worth Mentioning, Sweet Mono, Spherical Nathan, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snacksalotl, Winnie Rab, and Will9455. Thank you so much for supporting us, and we'll see you next time.